Brian Carroll, Aiko Parra. Now David Ibich leads this new team, T2, a decision in his life that he told me was made to give himself a new challenge, a new challenge coaching this group that you see walking out onto the field at Merlot. He debuted later on in April and two beer selections on sale here at Mer Merlot. Copeland. Carlton Belmar has some wheels to bring a lot of excitement to this T2 team. Pay into the box looking for Belmar, headed clear by Real Monarchs. Manning looking for Winchester. One. It has certainly picked up since Real Monarchs played for the RSL Arizona Academy, played for Freddy Juarez, Real Monarchs head coach. Mike stays down. But nobody there on the back post. Real Monarchs just has to send the ball. Taylor Pay wins it for T2. And now comes forward with some space. Broken up by Copeland. Baumgartner. Now some time finally for Real Monarchs in the back line. They haven't had a lot of that today. Here to develop guys like Shilo Chuma, give him playing time. Which is with the Timbers U23 Player of the Year. PDL All Western Conference team member. Past two years, VCU's leading score for the opening goal in the inaugural match for T2. Taylor Pei, he has caused problems for Real Monarchs tonight. Celestino. Baumgartner has Morrell, left side, the left back's out, Jordan Morrell. Baumgartner. Coco Navarro, back to Baumgartner, looking for either team to begin this second half. We saw in forward slotting through for Fatal. Fatal holds up the play, sends it towards Fatal. Flick over to Winchester, sliding in for Real Monarchs is Baumgartner. A chance in the box after Renical Clark, Renical Clark slipped. And brought one back for Real Monarchs. Belmar again chasing, as is Winchester. Real Monarchs does well here. Justin for T2 as well. Stephen Evans, former pilot, is on T2. Again, Belmar almost gets Dallas Powell on the right guys that can get forward. That's the type of player Caleb Porter wants. Andy Thomas.